Natural learning about vitamins this morning. There's a new device that scans your palm and can tell you whether you've received enough vitamins. Marty is going to demonstrate it when we come back. Uh, Marty joins us to talk about something I think is important for everybody, vitamins and vitamin deficiency. Yeah, you know, we always talk about vitamins, minerals, antioxidants, and you sit back and you go, yeah, yeah, yeah. So why, why do I need to include stuff like antioxidants in my diet? Well, you know what? If you want to stay uh, healthy and looking young, then that's why you want antioxidants. And there's a new test out there. It is called the Biophotonic, and it actually can kind of read through your skin and tell you how many uh, vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants you're getting. And Mark is here with us. He's with the company. Thanks for being here today. Thanks. It's a pleasure. Now, Let's go ahead. Now, Scott's doing the test right now, and right. basically it's just this machine. And tell us what it's doing. There's a, uh, a blue laser light. Obviously, it's harmless, okay. but it actually interacts with the carotenoid antioxidants in your skin and gives you a measurement in your skin of your antioxidant protection level, which is a reflection of how many fruits and vegetables you've been eating over the last month or so. Okay. Now, now Mark is not from Phoenix, and um, all of you out there know that um, I try to eat a healthy, balanced diet. My good friend Scott over here... Scott, when, when, at, when asked, what's your favorite restaurant, what did you say? Anything with a drive-thru. What's your favorite lunch place? Anything with a drive-thru <laughs> opens early. Well, and that's what we love about Scott. You know, he's a fast food pizza kind of guy. And so when I did the test, I scored real, you know, higher. And uh, so I thought, you know what, we're going to really test this out. We'll have Scott do it. And see, so what are you going to do if I score high? Well, well, then we know the test didn't work. Okay. Are you ready? <laughs> this is a lot of pressure. Hey, so right. anyway, uh, Mark's over his hand. Take my hand out. Yep. All right. Take and so, out. what are his Just results? Seventeen thousand, which is in the red zone, a little on the low side. Um, we're pretty confident about this because we have scanned wow. thousands of people, and we uh, and there's de definitely a correlation between your lifestyle and your food, sun exposure, cigarette smoking, and how you score on this test. That is amazing. I can't believe that's pretty incredible. Don't you think that's pretty incredible? I don't know. What does that mean? That it really means that, like most Americans, you need to concentrate more on eating fruits and vegetables. Okay. Uh, <laughs> pick those up, and uh, like many Americans, all the time. <laughs> You better take some broccoli. Oh, you? that I can't eat. I don't like broccoli. <laughs> you know, um, as we were talking about these fruits and vegetables, this is good for you to know. He said something about the apple. The apple is becoming the, uh, the really good fruit, and why? Oh, yeah, it really is a microcosm of the rest of the story of fruits and vegetables. There haven't really been any vitamins or minerals that have been added to the list for about 50 years. But now scientists are discovering that in plants, in fruits and vegetables, there are other phytonutrients that have health benefits. The old adage of uh, uh, an apple once a day, it's really true. It's true. There are nutrients in there that will protect you from uh, all sorts of <coughs> degenerative diseases. Like cancer. That's been shown. All right. Well, that, take a look. Uh, we're talking about uh, any kind of fruits and vegetable, really, right? Exactly. And it's ba and I said to him, I go, now, for somebody um, like Scott, who doesn't really include a lot of fruits and vegetables in their diet, it would be hard for him to completely change the way he eats. So you, I guess you just start small, right? Well, yeah, you do. Uh, you try to find things that you like and really try to focus on it a little more. Uh -huh. And Unfortunately, you know, even though we have the opportunity to eat better than the medieval kings, we've got fruits and vegetables in all the all year round. Right. We really have very little time, so many people are starting to turn to supplementation as well yeah. as kind of an added insurance bonus, so that you can have uh, the nutrients that you need. All right. Well, if folks are interested in getting this test done, it costs uh, about five dollars. They're going to be doing it at a w women's expo this weekend. Of course, that's Saturday and Sunday. Just look for the biophotonic area and uh, you can get your thing tested. I'll tell you Tara, I was really interested because when Mike com came up high I was like okay we really got to see if this thing works. So, right. so I'll put broccoli on my pizza. <laughs> <laughs> that would work. It's a start. And that's not bad. I've that's had what that. We're talking Baby about. steps. Thanks very much.